Hello everyone, Ruby here, and today I'll be showcasing another game that um, left early access, uh, which is V-Ryzen. It is now reached 1.0, uh, it's a full release, and we are going to take a look at how it plays on the Lenovo Legion Go. And um, as you can see right now, it's running at 60 FPS, which is what I have it locked to. But let's go ahead and take a look at the settings I have on my Lenovo Legion Go to see how I have them set up. And so, if we go over here, notice I'm running the game at 1200p, 60 hertz. So it's not going to go higher than that for the display in terms of the refresh rate. And you can see I'm also running on performance mode um, using battery, which is 20 watts TDP. And the OS power mode is on efficiency. And that's it for that. And if we go into options, if you go under graphics, you can see everything set to medium preset and it's running at 1200p also and so now we'll go ahead and continue i already started a server uh, for local play uh, for the purposes of this um video here and so it's starting up right now and so Verizon is a game I've been looking forward to. Well, I look forward to a lot of games. I'm a gamer, by the way, <laughs> if you haven't figured out yet. Um, and so I didn't play any of the, um, the I didn't play the game at all while I was in early access. Um, the game looked very promising. And one of the reasons that why I didn't play in early access at all was because it did not have controller support. And so with, um, with the release, it has controller support. At least that's what I've seen so far, and I'm pretty excited to play it. My, as you can see here, um, this is controller support right here, where everything's mapped to specific buttons and stuff. I can move with my um, my right stick here, with my left stick here, sorry, and I can change my direction that I'm facing with my right stick while I move my left. And attack is my trigger over here. And you can see how well the game is running. I'm running at 1200p and it's running 60 hertz. You can see the frame counter over here. And so let's get out of this um, place. This is the beginning of um, when you start a server. And so we'll go outside of that. And uh, well, let's take a look and see how the frame uh, the frame rate holds up. So right now it's still hovering at 60. Well, it goes down to 54 at times. Well, it's holding steady at 60 so far. Okay, and that's the, that's the dodge there. Okay, we got bones. More bones. Okay, let's go ahead and claim this. Okay, we can look in our inventory. Just out there, we can see everything is mapped to different controls, which is good. And we can open this for our map, a spell book, vampire powers, emotes social settings, system, and stuff like that. And there's a skeleton here. Oh, I still got hit though. And so the dodge, which is this one here, is on a cooldown. I think it's on a seven or eight second cooldown. Let's pick up this right over here. That's the issue. Okay, let's see. If I press this. Oh, okay. So I can eat the rat. Yee. Feed it on rodent blood. There we go. And it says press hold to mend. Oh, okay. Blood mend. Okay. There we go. Okay, so it's a heal over time. So, yeah. Tell us okay. 
And sorry about that, that is my Google Smart Display going off over there. I wasn't talking to it though, but I <laughs> wanted to chime in. So let's see what else is here. Let's see, how do I run? Okay, now. Ooh, there's a bigger guy over there. Now he's almost dead. There you go. Oh, so you can just hold on the um, right trigger anyways. And I keep playing. No, I'll keep attacking. Pick up the right over there. Okay, there we go. And more bones. <laughs> oh, I just realized something. If I um, dodge, I'm going to use on the next guy, though. If I dodge, he's going to keep attacking that. Oh, it's just for a short amount of time. Okay. So I just have to get used to the way things play. this there we go and more bones and so let's see hmm. where's the stuff for the blood man again let's see here okay no not that one So equipment, crafting. Oh, I can make a I can make that. A bone sword. Let's go ahead and do that. And I am a bone ring. Oh, this is cool. So we already have crafting stuff enabled. Let's see here. I don't have the materials for that yet. I don't have for that one or that one either. Okay. Let's go back to equipment then. Okay, so the sword is applied to that. Uh, huh, okay. Okay, that's, that's different. Okay, there we go. Just take that right over there. Still need to figure out the, the men stuff. I wasn't paying attention, but it's all good. We have, a, we have a sword now. And as you can see, the game uh, does come down to like 54 or 56 FPS. And so it's hovering in the high 50s, even though it's playing at 1200p, medium settings. Let's see nothing here. I'll go up here again. Oh, okay. There's some guys here. Let's try a new sword and see how it fares. can claim that. That's very really cool. Okay, aim spells with right bumper and left stick. Let's let me grab that right over there. So left bumper. Oh, okay. I got it now. Oh, that was cool. More rats for us.
Oh, okay, let's take all of that. So what else is in here? That's pretty cool, okay. The game kind of starts out slow, like most games do, uh, especially games in the survival crafting genre. They do start off slow, and then um, they quickly um, ramp up as you unlock abilities, skills, stuff you can do, crafting recipes, all kind of, kind of stuff. So I'm going to assume it's the same with this game, and this is definitely something I'll be playing all throughout tonight. Oh. So the sword actually does a little bit of kind of stagger type stuff on, on the enemies, pursuing. We're un unable to attack me. But yeah, but this is this is a V Ryzen on the Lenovo Legion Go. And um, whoever has any interest in this game, I'll say it's a um, it's a buy. Well at least for now though. Uh, from what I've played so far, but then again, I'm kind of biased towards games like this, especially since this is a game I've been looking forward to, and especially with controller support too. I'm more of a um, controller based PC player, if there's anything like that. I'm not really a big fan of using keyboard and mouse. I've gone out the years when I was a lot younger when I preferred using keyboard and mouse, but now I just want to sit back and relax playing games and stuff like that. So I tend to favor um, controller, um, controller input. For my PC games, and especially since I'm playing on a handheld too, and so um, control support is something that was very important to me, and I'm glad that the game has it. Okay, and that's it, guys. That is um, V Ryzen for on the Lenovo Legion Go. You can get this on Steam. I'm certain they probably have this in other um, PC um, gaming stores. I mostly purchase most of my games off of Steam, but that's it. If you're interested, it's in a Steam store. You can pick it up now. Uh, if you're not interested, you can watch a few more videos to see if the game picks your interest some down, sometime down the line. But this is um, V Ryzen on the Lenovo Legion Go, and um, that's it, folks. Robbie out. Happy gaming, everyone. Peace.